Hello Internet, and welcome to another video. I've been playing a lot of No Man's Sky since it came out on PC, and I'm absolutely loving the game, but I was a little bit confused uh, about how the planets move and how the sun, sun moves and stuff, and I figured I would try and take a look at it and sort it out in case anyone else was also confused about it. So I decided to set up a, uh, a camera, well, the player, set up the uh, camera in one position and record for about a day in game to see if I could capture some of the planet motions and sun motions and stuff. Because, uh, as in real life, slow motions like that become much more apparent and easier to see when we speed them up. So here is a little time lapse of about one day on this particular planet. Now, uh, in doing this, I've learned several things. One, the game looks absolutely fantastic. Two, uh, these two planets use the same cloud textures, which is understandable and not really a problem. And three, it is really hard to pilot spaceships when I can't look around inside the cockpit. So, hopefully, coming patch. Uh, but most importantly, uh, it seems that planets do not rotate or move relative to each other. So in real life, uh, we have a planets uh, orbiting the sun and they're also rotating. It looks something like this. But in No Man's Sky, what would appear to happen is that we have all of the planets static relative to each other and they rotate kind of as a bunch. Or you can also kind of think of it as the sun orbiting all the planets. As weird as that sounds, the result is the same. Now, what I'm not sure about is if when you go from one planet to another, the rate at which the sun moves in the sky changes, so I don't know if all the day lengths on the planets are all entirely the same, or if there's some differences like that. So as far as I can tell, we've got a bunch of static planets, and uh, the sun kind of moves overhead. Now, just to be entirely clear, this isn't really a problem, or I don't think of it as a problem. And I can see... I can think of two reasons pretty much why they would have wanted to do it this way. Number one being, it's a lot less confusing. Uh, if you have all the planets moving and rotating relative to each other, and you have like six or seven planets in a system, it's going to be so hard to keep track of where you're trying to go from one planet to another. If you have them all in the same place, it's easier to remember where you came from and where you want to go. Number two is the rule of cool. And, I mean... In a lot of science fiction, rule of cool takes precedence over actual science, so I'm not surprised. Basically, this looks cool. It wouldn't look as cool, perhaps, if all the planets were moving at the speed of an airplane through the sky along with the sun. So either way, it doesn't really bother me. Uh, I just wanted to explain how that works, or how I think it works at least, in case someone else was a little bit confused uh, as well. So. There we go. Hopefully uh, that clears something up, maybe. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time.